Hey guys, Jared back. So, there's a new method to root your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. My uh, Root De La Vega video, the warranty safe uh, Galaxy Note 3 root video, is no longer, um, it's, it's out of commission basically. It's been closed and you can't use that root method anymore. So, obviously I need to create a new root method. This time around though, I'm not gonna do a warranty safe method. I'm gonna basically do the same method that we've been doing for years, which is assuming that as soon as you root your device, your warranty is void. And I think that's the best way to do it. This is also the easiest way. So there's gonna be a link in the description below this video it's going to take you to this page here we're going to be using chain fires cf auto root method all right so once you come to this page uh there's a lot all kinds of instructions in here and i always recommend if you're new to rooting you always take a look and read exactly what all this stuff says just for future reference but uh this video is for all intents and purposes the visual aid guide to this so it's not going to be in the first post it's not going to be in the second post if you scroll down to the third post this is where all the downloadable files that you're going to need are in here there's different variations of the galaxy note 3 anything everything from the international one all the way down to the Chinese version. Um, now, in my particular instance, I'm Canadian, so I obviously click on the SM900W8. Obviously, for yours, you click on whatever corresponding uh, one that you're going to need. So when you do click on one that you find that you need for your device, it'll take you to this next page here. And down here, all the way at the bottom, is the download link. So go ahead and download that. It'll take less than two minutes to download, obviously, of course, depending on your internet connection. And you've got it saved in a safe place. Now, I've got ahead and take it upon myself to save it um, in a folder on my desktop called note 3 oh, that's out of frame isn't it um, anyways note 3 CF auto root so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and that'll bring you to um, this um, zipped up file now whether you're using WinZip or WinRAR whatever right click on it and click on extract here um, so that'll take two seconds to extract one two alrighty so um, he's kind enough to actually package Odin although this is a super old version of Odin I don't know why he's still packaging that but maybe it's because he prefers it either way uh, we come out with a few new files three to be exact the actual CF auto root um, file that we're gonna be flashing uh, this other thing that makes Odin work um, and then of course the Odin uh, program itself so what you're gonna do is actually just double click and click yes obviously this is on Windows machine Mac you guys are out of luck sorry um, and we're gonna open up the CF auto root so as you can see so uh, next thing that you need to do is actually power your device off alrighty so we're gonna power device off click OK and wait for that to turn off and then next thing we're gonna do is actually boot into download mode. So by do, to do that, we're gonna go volume down, power, and home button all at the same time. So we're pressing and holding. That should take about five seconds at the most. There we go, we get to this warning screen here. So then what we're gonna do is click on volume up to continue. As you can see, we are now in uh, download mode. So now you can go ahead and plug in your uh, micro USB or basically plug in, uh, connect your Note 3 to your PC. Once that's happened, and obviously you've, you know, all of your Samsung USB drivers are already installed on your computer, which should have been done the first time you plugged it into your computer when you first got your device. Anyways, uh, this little box here will change color to yellow, as you can see. So the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is go to this little box here that says PDA. So go ahead and click on that, and we're gonna uh, look for the folder or the file in your guy's case that I decided to store that um, folder. So there it is right there. And as you can see, CF auto root, yada, 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 SM900 for my model number. So we've highlighted it and we're gonna click, oops, shit, you don't wanna do that. Highlight it and then you're gonna click OK. As you can see now, it's now loaded into the PDA thing. Don't touch any of this stuff, don't touch this, don't touch that, just PDA, okay? So now that that's all set up, all you have to do literally is just click start. Now, as you can see, things are happening there. Things are gonna start happening on your phone as well. As you can see, a little progress bar is going across. This is a very, very quick root method, all right? And as you can see, top left-hand corner, we're almost done. Reset OK, pass, and it's now rebooting the device. And I can tell you right now, your device is now rooted. So you're gonna wait for all this CF auto root stuff to go through. Uh, as you can see, lots of fancy things going on. I bet you guys feel like a hacker right now, don't you? <laughs> Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. As you can see, rebooting in 10 seconds. It's now going to reboot the device. Okay, so I'm actually gonna cut the video now. Now that that says passed, you can actually unplug your Galaxy Note 3 from uh, your PC. Now I'm gonna cut the video now and come back once it's all fully booted up. And then we're gonna go to the Play Store and download the, the root checker just to double check that we do in fact have a rooted device. So we'll be right back in just a moment. Alrighty, so uh, we're all booted up, ready to go here, especially after I finally finished canceling out all the bloody apps, that auto update. 
What you're going to do is actually search in the Play Store for this application called a root checker. This is what I always use to double check that I have roots. So we're going to go ahead. In fact, if we actually back out right now and jump to the apps tray, you should see an application. There it is, Super SU. That's usually a really good sign that our device is rooted. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump back in there and looks like we're going to have to. Oh, there it is. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on install and accept. That'll take two seconds to download, depending on Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi router sucks. Okay, and then we're gonna click on open. You're gonna agree to it. You're gonna click okay. And then you're gonna click on root ver or verify root access. It's gonna ask you for super user. That generally right there means you have root access. We're gonna click on grant. And as you can see, congratulations. This device has root access. Um, and that's it. Congratulations, you have a new rooted Galaxy Note 3. And that was really, really easy. Took less than five minutes. Uh, maybe the video took longer though. Anyways, uh, that's it though guys. Hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, click that likes button down below. And if uh, you want to see more videos like this one in the future, you might want to click on that subscribe button. Thanks as always for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.